Hey everybody, there seems to be some confusion about how to get rid of things on PhotoStream in your computer and on your device. Let me show you how this is done. First, let me take you over to Photos, and you'll notice if you check in PhotoStream here, I have roughly a 124 images. Now, the way to get rid of these images, I posted a video earlier, I thought I was clear, but I'm going to clear it up better. Click on Settings. Most importantly, go to the device, turn PhotoStream off and say delete photos, it will take them away from your iPad. On the iPhone, you need to do the identical thing. If you have multiple devices, then you need to do it on both. I'm not going to do the over-the-shoulder iPhone recording thing because, well, it looks stupid. So anyway, this is how you take care of it on the pad, and now I'm going to show you how to do it on the computer. If you look here, I have basically the same photos in my iPhoto, but as you click on these guys, and try to right click to delete or press and delete keys, you get nothing, nothing happens. So what you need to do is open preferences, which is right here, or I use command comma in most cases, and you go to the part where it says enable photo stream. Now you just turn it off and you say turn off. And then now if you want to turn photo stream on, you can say enable, cancel this, but the, the key element to this is make sure you turn off this automatic import, automatic upload. Now it won't put everything that you have on your photo stream. Anyway, I'm going to leave this off for now because there's one more step we need to do. And as you can see, it's already trying to grab my pictures. So I've already turned it off on the device and I've already turned it off on the computer. Now there's one more step. Let's go into system preferences real quick. And if you have it on in your iCloud setting, make sure it's turned off here as well. That will take care of it. Now, if you happen to be an Aperture user, it's the exact same thing as iPhoto. You need to just go into the preferences and make sure you don't have it enabled. So now that you have it turned off in all of these places, the next thing to do is open up your browser and go to iCloud, log in, and do the reset that I showed you in the previous video. So once you get logged into iCloud, click on your name up here on the top, click on advance and say reset photo stream. Once you hit reset, this covered everything. So again, make sure it's off on the iPad, the iPhone, Aperture iPhoto, and if you happen to have an Apple TV, make sure it's off on the Apple TV as well. Once you do that, nothing else is in your photo stream. Your photo stream should be super, super clean. Just to prove to you that this has totally worked, we're going to go back to iPhoto. Once iPhoto launches, we're going to click here, turn on photo stream. Eject the camera there. And as you see, absolutely nothing in the photo stream. It's empty, completely empty. Okay. At this point, we're going to check our device. So go ahead in the settings. Turn photo stream on. Go back over to photos and there it is. Photo stream is completely empty. So once again, make sure it's off on all your devices. Log into iCloud, turn it off. Go into iPhoto or Aperture, turn it off. And then now it's clean. The way this works, it will store 1000 pictures or the last 30 days of your shots. After that, these things will automatically disappear. So it's not a really big deal to leave it on, but everybody keeps saying they want to know how to turn it off. So here's how you turn it off. And if you're the type of person that goes out and take random pictures, then don't turn it on on your screensaver or on your Apple TV. If you have any questions, comment, or feedback, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.